What's up, Madden 25 gamers? Welcome to my YouTube channel where we talk about anything related to Madden 25 uh, gameplays, practice tips, and uh, different discussion based videos. And in today's video, we're going to be taking a look at one of the most important tips I think of the season. This is going to be teaching beginner players how to practice, how to get their game better uh, for before they go into online competition against some of the better gamers in the world. Today's video, we're going to focus ma primarily on practice mode. What you want to do is you want to hit your, you want to go over to play. You want to go down to more modes, you want to hit A or X on PlayStation 3, and you want to hit practice mode, and then what you can do is, you can practice normal with offense and defense, offense only, or kickoff. You can also use two controllers, this is good for practicing defensive uh, schemes and stuff like that. And another thing I want to talk about is, one of the most important things is selecting, you know, you, if you want to practice offense, you might want to use, you know, a team with you know that team that you want to use so like for this example Green Bay Packers they have four receivers so I'm gonna practice my Arizona offense an offense that primarily uses four receivers so that's another thing you can choose different playbooks based on advanced settings so here I'm gonna scroll over to the Arizona Cardinals offensive playbook and that's gonna give me that four wide receiver shotgun spread attack and then I'm gonna scroll over if the Green Bay Packers are a three four base defensive team then I'm gonna use that three four defensive playbook and now I have two good playbooks here for this Green Bay Packers team and if you want to mess with the time of course you can do that but you want to ready up now the reason I selected two controllers I think that's one of the most important things you can get a controller these days for current gen consoles at about ten to twenty dollars over at your local GameStop it's gonna help your game uh, leaps and bounds difference especially on the defensive side of the ball what I like to do here is a select a good defensive team to go up against one of the best defensive teams in the game right now is the 49ers but they don't have the secondary that the Seattle Seahawks do and if I'm trying to pass a practice of passing oriented offense I want to practice against a pass oriented defense so here we're going to use the Seattle defense a, a defense that's a 4-3 base team so I'm going to select that 4-3 defensive playbook and if I want to practice offense with Seattle I know that they're a read option based team so I want to make sure that I have you know something that's going to be good with the read option uh, you could just select Seattle's default playbook but I know from um, watching the NFL this season that Chip Kelly is a read option oriented team so they're probably going to have that read option oriented playbook so guys that's how we want to select our settings and practice and practice mode this year guys I think this is a very important video something that can get you going in Man 25 if you just got the game for Christmas or you just got the current you know the current gen version um, now this tip will work on next gen as well it's just all about getting into practice mode and learning the fundamentals of the game you want to learn how to routes work and how different things uh, go together Real quick, I want to explain a couple of key features in practice mode that we want to use here. Um, first things first, I want to run real. I want to run one play real quick, and then I want to explain a couple of things before we get out of here. This is going to be a quicker video, just because I really wanted to to get it out uh, really quick here, since I haven't been able to upload uh, as consistently as I would have liked to uh, over the course of this last couple of years. So, or last couple of weeks. So what we want to look at here is we want to hit the start button. We want to go into the instant replay feature. Now this is going to teach us the mechanics of the game. How does the game work? What routes get certain separation? After every play, you want to go into instant replay. You want to check the mechanics of the game. How do guys with good block shed face guys with good pass block? How do the zones play certain routes? How does two men under play against this route or this route? And you want to do that for all your plays. So that way you know how the defense is playing every single round on the field. Even if you are throwing to this route, I want to know how the defense plays the flat route. I want to know how the defense plays this route. You know, I want to know how to this this route plays over here and you can do that so that you can learn the fundamentals of the game another thing you could do in practice mode is you can respot the ball by clicking that feature you can practice maybe from the 50 yard line you can practice your you know your backed up offense your your 20 to 20 offense and then of course you can also practice your red zone offense if you want to okay and then a couple of other features here we can use a practice mode to get our game better um, if you want to choose a new play you can choose a new play right here or you can just hit the select button um, practice type if you ever want to change it up go offense only or kickoff definitely want to use those features because they're going to help you uh, save some time so you don't have to go out of practice when to come back in also if you want to flip sides you can do that very easy by selecting that option running one more play and the next play you'll notice here that I'll have Seattle now will be the offensive team 
and Green Bay is the defensive team. That's going to be good because now I can practice that read option offense that I once that I wanted to practice earlier. So now you see how we use that feature. And then the only other thing I want to focus on is you go down to game options. You can you can mess around with your settings, your custom audibles. What I like to do when I'm practicing against a specific defense is I'll set you know you know a, a primary pass defense and I'll set all the generic coverages in the game. So I'll go through and I'll put cover two here. Uh, I'll put cover four in there. I'll put cover three in there, and I'll come out in two men under, so that way I have now two different cover twos, a cover three, a cover four, and two men under, all to lab against my routes against, so that I know how the routes and plays work against five different core plays that you're going to see online in Madden NFL 25. Thank you so much for your time today. If you want to subscribe to the Beginner Tips playlist below, you can do that by hitting the link in the description. Also, be sure to follow me on Twitter for more Madden 25 related content. Thank you so much for your time today, and we'll see you guys later on in the week for some more.